And there we go. Here's white privilege. Why is Who that white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers? Me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. So they won't check out. College Viva gets educated after pondering white privilege life. Guys, let's go straight into this. How the heck can you come to a state like Arizona, live here, and Tucson when we had and say there's no such thing as white privilege or racism when there's been not one but two laws that have been de deemed racist by a federal, law, uh, federal lawyer in the past 11 years? And here's the law. I, I know you go after people, man, and I got my facts. Buckle up. All right, cool. <laughs> All righty. So in 2003, Tucson Unified like School District bad, created a but... program called Mexican American Studies. You know what it is? Sounds pretty self-evident. Uh, it's, it's, it's critical race theory we are against. Okay. So in 2000, it was made to close the achievement gap for Latino students, for European American students. Tucson has 75% Latino students. In 2007, we caught up. This is right around the time where Tom Horn, the state superintendent, saw this. He called these races, he called these classes races, teaching the overthrow of the government. They were, he lied and said they were segregating these schools, segregating the students. But here's the thing, he never went to a class. And he tried three different times in 2007, 2008, 2009, and by 2010, Governor Jan Brewer signed the law that banned these classes. The only reason why he saw this, because he saw that Latinos were catching up. In 2000, in 2000, all right. in 2017, a federal uh, judge deemed this, that the law was racist and that his whole point of view was racist and it, it was the 14th Amendment that was wrong for us. He deemed these classes that were racist the whole time so I want to know, how can you come here and tell me there's no such thing as white privilege and no such thing as racism? Easily. There's no such thing as white privilege or racism. So. But there's racism, but it's not institutional. I mean, so, so are you saying the judge was wrong? Of are course. You saying, I mean, your judges so, could be wrong all the time without specific knowledge of what you're talking about with that. But here's the most obvious way I could debunk what you're saying, which is you assume Jan Brewer signed it because she hates Latino people. Is that right? It came out that she has. It's been proven. Hold on a second. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What evidence do you have that Jan Brewer hates Latino people? If you go watch the documentary about Raza Studies. What? It's been, go, go watch this, go watch the documentary called Raza Studies. It's about Mexican-American studies. Oh, oh, La Raza Studies? Raza Studies. Okay. Well, yeah, not, not exactly well-versed in that, but. What's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Okay. It sounds interesting. Um, but I suppose the question is. Would, Jan, would there be another explanation for Jan Brewer doing that? Or are you going to blame She signed another law called SB 1070. So what about SB 1070? What's wrong? Do you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. When well, I've never even been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin Okay, color. so who, So there we go. Here's white privilege. Why is who that we, white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. Yeah, well, I, I get, can show you my pile of drivers. Do you get asked papers. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's you're license. Gonna... Okay? So, but here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I, I, do you really think that you're, you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled over too. You're never, you're never gonna know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never gonna have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just gonna give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim, okay? You're looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try and disempower you. And I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right. So you know how it's going to be Hold different? 
It's going to be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know mm. that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right. You and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. <laughs> I love how you turn it around after I threw facts at you. You're telling to go backwards like this, but the facts is it's there. The fact <laughs> is that these laws that you say that were good. I never, said, been, they, I never said they were good. First are they good laws? Said, you're, you're, wait, you're turning it around. I, I said they you're very turning, well could have been repealed for other reasons than racism. But I am saying this, that you're saying that it's a more difficult journey. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying right now in America, you have every opportunity. In fact, it's even more than that. You have preference as a person of color. It's easier for you to succeed than your white counterpart in this room right now. You are given a hand up. You are given discrimination in your favor right now. I, I that's, that's 100 percent not true, bro. It's that BS that you'd be teaching right now. Thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate it. All right, enough. I, I don't know who she's saying. All right, thank you. Next question, appreciate it. And, and let me just say this is the final thing. I encourage you to really think deeply and say, why do I, why, th th thanks for coming. I, I encourage you to ask this, is like, you say that the journey will be different regardless of skin color. And I, how about this, for our Latino conservatives here, do you, do you, do you like when you hear stuff like this? He doesn't like, and, and by the way, I just encourage, and he's darker, so he's, he, yeah. And so, by the way, can you come up? Can you come up to the line? Go to the line. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to ask our friend, our volunteer, our turning point. Can, can, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Fuentes. Da Daniel Fuentes. <laughs> Daniel. Our journey's different. Does skin color He's matter? Up. Our journeys are different, bro, because like you say, you know, we're one united under God. You know, I have been pulled over by cops many times. Most 99%, 0.9% of the times, these cops have treated me in the nicest ways. Cops that are probably look nothing like me. Um, you know, every single turning point event that I have been to, um, where obviously I can tell all of my Caucasian brothers and sisters they have treated me in the nicest of ways. It has always been always whites kind of on the left that have always mistreated me. I've gotten more mistreat from whites on the left than on the right for being a Latino conservative. God bless you and thank you, Dan. Thank you both. Appreciate it. We'll get to the next question. Thank you. We'll go to the next question. Thank you. Guys, this is obvious. Like, there are people who still won't have sense. I um, mean, America is a racist country, and I'll say this, they are not. Because more like, if you listen to Charles Kirk's video, when you even see some leftists, like, they support black. You know, like, anybody's trying to say, let's push all the black men, or let's push all the Latino men, or let's push all the Chinese men, or Chinese women, or everybody else from the country. No, people are... See, there's nothing like, the racism, but like, no one is trying to, like, enforce it anymore like some people just don't like people of color because maybe of their past experience with them and it's fine you don't like them it's fine but like does not mean like they're going to hate on you in any way some people i don't like this kind of people some black people don't like white people like does not mean if they see a white person they will not say hi or they cannot work with them but like nah don't come to my personal space like let's be cool but like far apart like like that i really don't know why people feel like everybody has to like you no i believe that people <laughs> need to hate you for you to post more because when i get hit my channel i smile sometimes i get pissed i have to write a episode but like most times like i've i know i've written like an episode of of hate and insult but like i just have to delete it but like it's it it hurts sometimes when you see something like that, but it does not mean that 
people are racist or does not mean that we, like when he said when a policeman stop you have to ask for your identity yes they need to sh- they need to be sure that you're a legal citizen and if you're not they need to deport you and it's normal like white people actually commit crimes too the way people are making you feel like it's only black or i don't want to say brown but like it's only black people that commit crime no white people also commit crime and the police officer starting to check everyone for guys, what do you think about this? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.